once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. I got something special for you today, let me tell you. Once you see this, you won't believe your eyes. In the previous episode, we had a look at the new three packs from Jazzware World of Halo. Those things are basically the best army builders I've ever seen for that scale of figures. Like the three and three quarter inch range, you have to get them. But today, Halo Collector has provided me with this footage of the brand new UNSC checkpoint. And this thing, I don't even need to say anything, right? You just look at it. Look at how much this set packs. You know me, I've had Jazzwares back for the last year as they've transitioned through their journey with Halo toys and now they're at the point where they're releasing something that is just such a beast. Two figures, dozens of accessories and weapons. Like this is a collector's dream. Back in the day, I was a big McFarlane collector and I would have just given anything for this kind of set. I used to buy the weapon packs that McFarlane made, but they didn't even scratch close to this. First of all, we've got to look at the drop wall. Yes, this even includes a drop wall among so many other accessories. When I first saw this set teased, I didn't know it came with the drop wall or all these base plates. Like Jazzware World of Halo is good, but I've always thought the base plates are too small but now you can have so many as well as this drop wall like this is already a really cool thing to include in a set and I do miss the old days of the Halo Infinite original campaign teaser where the drop wall was really long this is the new version nice and tall and after using this so much in the multiplayer demo man I'm ready to get the toy it's so funny, you know, throughout the process of editing this footage, every time I see this shot, I'm like, are you serious? That much stuff in one set. Like, Jazzware could have easily siphoned this off into multiple packs, but they put everything in one place, just the way I like it. So we've got this turret at first. We're going to see this built up, and yes, this is all Halo Infinite style. You can even see there's multiple different paint applications just on this thing, and they could have easily got away, again, with just having it a plain color. Like, there's loads of ways they could have cut corners, but no. They stuck to what they believed in and they made some really highly detailed products. So this turret looks really outstanding on its own, just two different colors, but the way they are mixed in with each other makes for a really nice build. And particular shout out to even that little bit of painted detailing on the handlebars of the turret, like this thing is really nice. Then we've got the star of the show, absolutely this armory. What a beast. And after looking through some of the new Halo Infinite footage over the last 24 hours, I can say that this UNSC checkpoint would be a small beacon on the map where you go, maybe you free some UNSC forces and then you're treated to an armory and somewhere you can call in some vehicles. You can see this is very 3D, like it's got a lot of details even at the back. And yes, all these weapons are removable, all of them are painted and all of them look badass. You can see the high easily just interchangeable you can flip it upside down very quickly this is just a dream man the way that sniper sits on the side is just awesome and there is so much detail like I cannot believe I cannot believe all these weapons are painted this is my most enthusiastic jazzware video ever because I'm just stunned by it even when I saw the images of this I didn't know it would include these crates as well you can see they have a funny like soft plastic latch at the back which I think would break after quite a few uses, but it does the job. And you'll see Kevin does have a little bit of difficulty sealing this back up again. It's not that uh, well secured. And then, you know, Jazzware could have just introduced one crate. Like this is the first time we've got it, but no, they include two of these bad boys and they look fantastic stacked on top of each other and really nice. Like I'm gonna display all of my weapons just open like that. And anything that we can get scenery wise, I'm sure Jazzware is aware of the problem now. They've released so many weapons figures and vehicles that now they need scenery. Here's another really great example of a weapon, this Spanker rocket launcher, just black and gray. It could have done with a couple of maybe red or yellow stripes, but it works. And the sniper rifle, while good, it is a little bendy. You can see how the barrel has struggled with the packaging. I think it's probably forced it. And here we've got fusion coils, baby. They're gonna be a big part of Halo Infinite. And we've got the shock rifle core or the shock core and the basic fusion core. I can see these things being one of the best, if not the most favorited part of the Halo Infinite campaign experience. Picking these up and slamming them into enemies, like, ugh. Oh. 
And then we still got a Needler. Like, honestly, I'm blown away by this set. I know I'm so enthusiastic, and I am with a lot of Jazzware, because I really do believe in the product, but this set in particular. Look at this Needler. It's got gorgeous dark purple painting on it, and those translucent needles. Fantastic, man. Then we move on to the figures, because I'll drive it home again. This set could have just come with the accessories and no figures, but this is all out. This Gungnir, some of these Spartans do look a little lanky, a little too skinny for my liking, considering they are super soldiers. But this one has a good amount of blue, black, and gray painted detailing. These figures, as always, have great articulation. His visor is also nice. You can see a little yellow light on the front of his helmet. And really just very flexible, very nice figure. And as far as I'm concerned, the joints do last on these figures. They are quite nice like that. And then we've got this purple Elite. The exact same mold as a figure we saw in the three pack recently. Let's compare them side by side. They really do look like a fantastic brothers in arms there. The red from the banished three pack with the energy sword and the purple from this new UNSC checkpoint. Some detailing on his light strips on his chest there. Just a very basic elite mercenary but something that would be really great for army building. I could see people buying quite a lot of this set for the accessories and the weapons alone but then also to stockpile Elites, maybe even stockpile some Gungnirs. I don't know how many Gungnirs you want, but certainly this Elite is very worthy of a what, what, what. <laughs> and look at these two next to each other with all those base plates. This is the best value for money I've ever seen in a Jazzware set, maybe even in a large scale Halo figure set. Like this has blown me away. And I really want to thank Halo Collector for all the footage today. Let me know in the comments down below what part of this set are you most hyped about, how many will you pick up and as always stick with the domain for all your halo toy collecting news